Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. So on our last three videos, we talked about three different topics or segments on Gen Z. And we mentioned how with Gen Z, their best chance would be to buy a home outside of metropolitan areas where it's a remote area, houses are cheaper, things of that sort. So Kirby, I've got a question for you actually on this. So do you think or foresee I don't know if it'll be the near future or the far future, but these remote locations starting to get a much larger population, say in the sense of Lakeland. Lakeland, Florida used to be extremely remote. No one really lived there. It was very countryside. And then now, you know, I think it's like 28% year over year population growth. Do you think we'll see more? Do you think we'll see like the small town now a big city in 10 to 15 years or something like that more of that um let me let me answer that in two parts if you don't mind the first thing is covid introduced people to rural living because i remember when you bought your house pre-covid before you bought your house pre-covid i mean I, of course i know people that live in lakeland but lakeland wasn't a hub no, you see what I'm saying it was it wasn't a hub, but now I see people openly talking about Lakeland, and it's because of the for at the time the affordability aspect of it, especially when COVID was going on. You know, people trying to live in Tampa, but then it was more affordable in Lakeland. But now, as you see in Lakeland, and uh, I'm gonna use the old Field of Dreams analogy. I, I know you don't know what Field of Dreams is. You was you don't know. I trust me. I know you don't even know what Field of <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't. But anyway, Field of Dreams, Field of Dreams. In, this, in the movie Field of Dreams, they said, if you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. And so what happened in Lakeland, and you correct me if I'm wrong, is they build houses, people migrated to Lakeland. Now, magically, more amenities are showing up in Lakeland. More amenities than ever been in Lakeland. That's that's what it is. It, it has to be. It has to be a domino effect. I was. I mean, you know, out uh, yesterday and Friday, I was out in the Georgia areas, and you know, Chick Fil A, for instance, Chick Fil A will only put themselves in major hubs, like major traffic hubs, and a lot of density of populations. I go into this small town. It's a Chick Fil A sitting there, posted up. Post. I'm like, what the hell? Let me go look around. Look around. Because they not businesses not putting their sales there. I mean, especially like major major businesses that will that you know demand high traffic and stuff like that. They're not putting themselves you know in a one stop light time. They're not they they paying attention to the dynamics. They paying attention to the migration. They're paying attention to you know the the U haul numbers of what state people going to and stuff like that. So I'm in a small town and. A Chick Fil A is posted. It perked my interest. It really perked my interest because I know they have, especially in that business model of Chick Fil A, they have way more tools about migration of people. So they see something in a small town that's going on that is going to be driving, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's what's that's what's going to happen. I mean, but the thing is, COVID opened people's eyes to, hey, you in these densely populated areas. We get something else like COVID. We probably won't get nothing else like that in a hundred years. But it opened people's eyes that there is affordability, but you have to get away from the major hubs. You may have to drive 30, 45 minutes to get to, you know, the amenities that you want. But people are more open to it. They got more space. They got more things. And then they start driving more traffic, driving more traffic. And then those rural areas, I mean, another another Lakeland, could it, could it happen? Yeah. But I think it's, the only way it's going to happen is if, and this is a big if, if people get more smart financially on a larger scale. And the reason why I say that, like we talked about, and I think the first video was people have to understand they have to live where they can afford to live, not where they hope to live or want to live. If I have to spend 30, 40, I mean, if I spent 40, 50, 70% of my income just to live in a house, what's the point of living? So I think, I think I'm, I'm, 
I have this wild hope that, you know, the generations younger than mine will become smart and just realize, hey, I need to be in a place that I can afford when I can be financially free. Because if your cost of living, if your month to month cost of living is 20 percent or less of your income, no matter what the income is. And I'm not again, I'm not talking about investing and saving and all that. That means you have 80 percent or 75 percent of your income to do whatever the hell you want to do. When people want to live in these major metro areas where 50, 60 percent of their income go towards housing. And of course, you know, another 10, 15 percent going towards cars. And then they only got 5 percent. So you around all these amenities, but you ain't got no money to do nothing. So what the hell are you there for? Right. So yeah. I would rather be in a place. I would rather be in a place where my housing costs cost, you know, 15, 20, 25 percent. You know, my car is maybe another five or 10 percent. But I still have 60 percent of my money to do whatever the hell I want to do with it. Right. But people don't think like that. And it's like, I mean, how many people, how many friends, you know, or people, not friends, but people, you know, at work, just people you went to school with growing up. Oh, they want to be in these places, but then they get to these places, then they can't afford to do nothing. They ain't got no money. Yeah. That's why I say, like, in the in one of our previous videos, like, I know people that moved to to L.A. or like not L.A., but like. uh so I know someone that's moved to San Diego. I know someone that wants to and is going to move to L.A. And it's like and my my question to the one that I know that wants to move to L.A. was like, so what are you going to like do? Like they have no plan. They're just like, oh, I'm going to roommate with people and just find a job. Like for what? Like, I mean, it's it's insane. And I know someone that lives. I know another person that lives in L.A. with their mom. They probably combined make about seventy five thousand, and they are like flat poor, like just poverty, like so. It's insane. It's like seventy five grand, you know. Even in Florida, I mean, you'll be fine with seventy five grand. Like you could, you could sustain yourself. But in LA, it's like that. That's like nothing. I mean, they live in a one one paying like nineteen hundred a month or whatever. In the, I mean, it's like. It's like in the projects, so you know it's. Yeah. Oh, but just yeah. to say, just to say, you you live in LA. Yeah. Just to say, you yeah. live there. You can't do. You can't partake in nothing that's going on in LA. You just live there. That's right. like the people I know. People that's in uh, like Orlando. You know, I'm close to Disney. Hey, how often you go to Disney? Oh man, it's too expensive to go to Disney. So what the hell are you there for? Right. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody want everybody wants that that neighborhood bias. Like the thing that always killed me when, you know, like an athlete, and then somebody be like, Oh yeah, yeah, you know I know them. Okay. How does that benefit you? You right. you cop chasing, you want to say, Oh yeah, I, I know that person. What the hell good is it? Like when when people say, for instance, like like, you know, one of the guys I talk to that's up there in high net worth. What point, is, what point is it of me saying, yeah, I know him if I'm not trying to replicate or try to get the money that he had? Right. Right. I mean, you look like a, you look like a dumbass fool. Like, so, you know, this person, you know what they're doing. Now, you don't need a you don't need a special skill like dribble a basketball. You ain't got to sell drugs. You ain't got to be a sports athlete, an actor, or nothing. He's doing something that you can replicate, but you're not doing. I wish I would. I, I wish I was somebody homeless or somebody living paycheck to paycheck and say I even knew this guy's name. I'd be embarrassed. But you see people do it all the time. Like, oh yeah, I know him. Right. So why you ain't listening? So that's that's something that that I I don't get. I don't understand. But Go ahead, Alex. I see that all the time. Yeah, no, but yeah, it's just it's all insane. But you, I mean, that was a great point though. What you said is, if people become more financially uh, mature or um, wise or whatever, that they would, that these cities would get more population. I mean, it makes all the sense. It's just human behavior. You don't see that with people. People just want to be. They want to show off for people they don't even care. And, and 
live that life. So the, the crazy thing is the people, and I heard this somewhere, but it was made the truest thing ever. The people that everybody trying to impress, they won't even be at your funeral. So why would you care? Why would you even care to impress them? They won't even be at your funeral. Exactly. No, all right, Alice, you can close it up. I'm sorry. With all that being said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.